Okay, so um, someone asked how I play the chords for Pretend by Alex G. So uh, I'll teach you guys the way I play the chords. Um, I don't know if it's like super accurate to the actual song, but this is how I play it. it sounds pretty cool. So um, the first chord, you start off with the E chord, um, open on the high E string or low E string. Second fret on the A, second fret on the D, and then first fret on the G. So it should sound like that. And so for the entire like first little portion, we go. And um, then with your pinky finger, you add your pinky finger on the second fret of the high E string. So it's gonna make a little. So, um, it's a little confusing, but it's like down, 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 oh, down, down, up, up, down, and then down, you add your pinky, and then you want to slot, you want to keep your, uh, your hand in this form, in this little chord shape, and you want to slide it up one, two frets to... So where your, these three fingers are all on the fourth fret, but you want to keep your pointer finger on the second fret of uh, the G string. So it's like, that's where it, and then slide and you just play that once, and then you go back. But when you go back, you take your pinky off, so. Uh, it's a little tricky. The, the strumming pattern is weird, and I'm not really sure how to explain it, but. So you do that twice, two times. And then now, you don't go back, you play this chord. It sounds a little ugly on its own, but in the song it sounds cool. And then, from here, you go to a B minor chord. Okay? Which is uh, the second fret on the A string. The the fourth fret on the E A D on the G wait yeah on the G and B strings so second fret A string fourth fret on the G and B strings and then um, your ring finger goes or no your middle finger goes on the third fret of the B string so it's it's a little power chord and then with your pointer finger you're gonna be pressing down not only on the second fret of the A string here, but also on the second fret of the E string here. So it kind of, it's a little tricky. It's like a power, uh, a bar chord. And you gotta hold that down, so. And then it's kind of in the same way, I just spit, in the, in the same way that we add our pinky here, you're gonna take this pinky finger off of the of the fourth and you're gonna add it on the fourth of the E string and then as you play that once and then you take it off so so uh, just a quick recap Up, up, and then from there you go back to the E. Wait, no, that's not right. Uh, uh, 
Uh, okay, from there we, we go to an A chord, which is you just press down. Uh, some people play like this. I just play with one finger. Um, it's the it's open. You don't you don't want to play this top E string. Um, you it's an open on the A string, and then the second fret on the D G and B string, and then open on the high E. So. And then back to what we just played. Uh, okay. And I don't know how many times he plays that in the song. I can't remember. Uh, just go listen to the song and play that with it. Um, so that part's a little bit tricky. And then we go into the chorus or whatever it is and these chords are a little weird but uh they're not so hard so back to the e but uh he goes like oh oh i don't um so it's an e chord oh and then it's that it's that chord we were playing before but you don't worry about the pinky this time I don't so one dun, dun. Okay, and then after that dun, ba, da, 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 da. And then you go down here and on I don't know what this chord is called It's some sort of D variation. I don't know D sus four five six seven eight um, you put on the fifth fret with your pointer finger on the A string. Then uh, your third or your ring finger goes on the seventh fret of the G string. Wait, no, that's the D string. I'm wrong. The your ring finger goes on the third fret of the D or the third fret, the seventh fret of the D string. I can't speak, and then the pinky goes on the the seventh fret of the B string, the one, uh, the second string up. But you want to add your ring finger on the sixth fret of the uh, B or the G string. So it makes a little jazz, uh, jazzy jazz chord for us. Um, so yeah. And we just play, you just play that twice. And so where we're going here, this is a A power chord or a bar chord. Um, fifth fret, fifth fret on the low E string. Uh, seventh fret on the A and D, and then uh, with your uh, middle finger, it's the sixth fret of the G string. And uh, yeah, so it's. And then you go back to that chord, uh, this chord. So. And then from here, we want to slide up one, but we want to go back to this power chord shape. So on the fourth fret of the A string, pointer. Then on the sixth fret of the D and G string, uh, you want to press down with these two fingers, the ring and the pinky. And then with your middle finger on the B string. So. Wait, so it's. Uh, I don't want to see. 
so he just plays a down up down up up down down up up down and this chord right here is just uh on the it's another it's a power chord but we don't want to use our middle finger uh or or we don't want to bar it either we just want to play second fret on the low e and then the fourth fret on the a and the d so and then you like give it a little space and you go so leave it for a second and then play it again and as soon as you play it just slide this up one fret slide this shape up one fret and then back to the E. So uh, a quick recap of, of this part. So it's gonna be. Oh, I don't want to see me, but I wanna do that. But bum bum. to that same little messed up there I'm pretty sure that's the whole song. Um, if I forgot something, I'll not do a video on it. Um, I hope that makes it a little easy and understandable. Um, and I hope this video is not too long. So if you watch till the end, uh, thank you. I hope you learned the song.